Stevenson gets the 1-0 win over to Sales here today at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark with Mustang's head coach, Toddy Corba. Coach, you've talked all season that the results haven't always reflected the effort that you've got from your team. To finally be able to break through and feel good about getting a win, I, I've got to imagine it's good for everybody with the program. Yeah, certainly good to, to finally get a win, but, um, you know, I think everybody in that locker room right now would say that still uh, the effort doesn't exactly reflect hmm. the results today hmm. again. Um, honestly, we got outplayed. Um, I thought uh, DeSales really took it to us and, um, you know, better second half effort from us, but, um, you know, the games that we've played well, we haven't found results and... Um, I don't think any of us are especially pleased with how we with how we played today, but um, you know we had we had some luck and things kind of went our way. Um, but it's a good jumping off point, certainly, and and something else to learn from. Let's try to accentuate the positive. Um, you talk about the start of the second half, not just the goal from Kiera, but it felt like after really sort of being completely outplayed in the first half and the second half, things evened up a little bit more. What changed in the second half that allowed that to occur? Well, I think a lot more effort. Um, we, we did switch up our formation a little bit, which I think helped neutralize a little bit what DeSales was doing and, and got us into the attack. And a great uh, first goal from McGee for you know her first career goal, and, and that was great. And I thought, you know, it, it wasn't, uh, I mean, Keegan Caffrey had a great game. And, um, you know, once again, I thought our backs really sold out and, and did what they had to do. And Sam Hooker had a great game. Um, and, you know, and sometimes you're just sliding and, and throwing yourself in front of things in order to try and reserve, um, you know, the one goal that we were able to get today. You read about Keegan, but I think it goes a step beyond just having a great game. The save that she makes late, trying to protect a shutout and having not gotten a win all season and everything that means in a one-on-one -on -one situation when Medler pulled the rip on that, can you just talk about what it means to have a goalie that can stand in there in a spot like that and make that play? Again, yeah, I mean, and, and you know, Keegan's only a sophomore, and, um, you know, this is, she played in one game last year, so um, she's still coming a long way, and she's done a great job, you know, after she's made mistakes, keeping her confidence up, but she is capable of some huge saves, and, and I think the more confident she becomes and, and, you know, the more she continues to grow, she's, you know, she's going to be just an outstanding goalkeeper for us. All right, one more game before the start of conference play. What do you need to see from your team as you get ready for next Saturday night? Uh, we need to see, uh, you know, just effort for for the 90 minutes, which we've been doing often, and and now we need to put the effort and the result together and and finish some chances. I know you wanted better for effort wise, but congratulations on the win and best of luck. Thank you. She's Tidy Corba. I'm Glenn Clark for GoMustangSports.com.